Hello, I'm Councillor Alison Everson, Chair of the Board of the Improvement Service. June the 29th marks the 10th anniversary of the publication of the Christie Commission Report. To mark this occasion, we thought it would be useful to look at this from the perspective of the Improvement Service. And I'm going to be asking a few questions of the Chief Executive of the Improvement Service, Dr. Sarah Gadsden. Sarah, what impact has Christie had on public service reform? Over the last 10 years, our experience has been that there is widespread support for the Christie principles, encompassing empowerment, partnership and integration, prevention and efficiency. We've seen pockets of good practice of Christie in action locally, such as multi-agency working, participatory budgeting, community participation and service design and community asset transfers. That said, we believe the implementation of Christie is still very much work in progress and there is more to do to achieve the whole system and holistic transformation and culture change envisaged. What do you think has got in the way then of the delivery of the Christie recommendations? I think austerity and the significant budgetary pressures facing local government in particular has been a key challenge, along with the complexities involved in moving and prioritising resources to fund early intervention and prevention and shifting the power balance to individuals and communities. I think it's fair to say collaboration has worked better in some areas and sectors than in others. And in some cases, this is made difficult by community planning partners in particular, having different governance, accountability and performance frameworks. Thank you. So where do you see Chris's influence in the work that the IS is currently delivering and involved in in general? So I think the Christie principles underpin our strategic priorities and absolutely inform the work that we deliver. Um, for example, we deliver a range of improvement support to local government and partners that focuses on tackling inequalities and early intervention in areas such as child poverty, early learning and childcare expansion and employability. We support local government working with their communities and partners to deliver place-based approaches. We deliver the local government benchmarking framework, which has facilitated consistent data gathering and performance comparators to improve services. And finally, we deliver a range of national shared services, including my account, the National Entitlement Card, the Gazetteers and the Spatial Hub. And how does the IS approach its work in supporting the delivery of Christie? So we facilitate and support a range of networks, we develop guidance, we respond to knowledge gaps and we share good practice and learning, providing evidence of what is working and how it can be replicated. We absolutely try and replicate the spirit of Christie in the way that we work by fostering strong cross-team working in the IS. And how important is partnership working to the IS in it delivering the aspirations of Christie? So as we know, Alison, one of the Christie principles is that public service providers must be required to work much more closely in partnership to integrate service provision and to improve outcomes they achieve. We have strong partnerships in place with COSLA, Scottish Government and other members of the local government family and we're part of the local government digital partnership. We've just formalised a strategic alliance with the Accounts Commission and we're in the process of establishing a formal partnership with Public Health Scotland. Thanks, Sarah. And what are your aspirations for the IS as we deliver Christy going forward from this 10th anniversary year? Thanks, Alison. I think it's, it's clear from the evidence and certainly from anecdotal stories that we're hearing that the pandemic has exacerbated already deep-rooted inequalities in Scottish society. At the same time, community planning partners have worked together and with the third sector and communities to deliver an agile and effective response at pace. I strongly believe that Christie is as relevant now as it was in 2011 and 10 years on I think we should honour the memory of Campbell Christie and grasp the opportunity to truly reform public services at scale informed by the Christie principles. Thank you Sarah. We can clearly see here that the recommendations made by Christie are really important to the work of the Improvement Service going forward. Thank you Sarah. Thanks Alison.